In this New World Weapons video, we're going to be taking a look at the Great Axe. This is one of the 11 weapons of the game. And in this video, we're going to cover both the Reaper and Mauler skill trees, as well as what the active abilities and passive abilities do, and why you may or may not use these weapons and how to use them effectively. First things first, the Great Axe is a strength scaling weapon, meaning that it increases in damage for each point of strength you put in. It seems to vary or kind of go in a cyclic pattern of 2, 2, 2, 1, something like this damage. So for about every 4 points, roughly, you get about 7 more points of damage. And that is the way you want to increase damage with this weapon if you're talking about from an attribute perspective. Okay, getting into the skill trees, let's talk about the Reaper skill tree first. In this skill tree, you have the abilities Reap, Execute, and Charge. Reap is sort of a pull ability that allows you to grab an enemy and pull it to you. Charge is an ability that charges at an enemy over distance. And Execute is an ability that does a lot of damage to a target that has lower health. I tend to use the charge ability a lot in PvP. Uh, not only is it good for catching enemies uh, when you're sort of close to them, but also it's good for closing long distances faster. Every time it's off cooldown, you can sort of charge and, you know, make up ground so you can gradually catch up to somebody that doesn't have a mobility skill, or you can get away if you're under attack. I generally don't use Reap. It has a shorter range than charge, and when you're trying to catch somebody who's over, you know, 10, 20, 30 meters away, uh, it's not something that you're going to really use because it doesn't bring you closer to them. So it could work to prevent somebody from getting away, but it's not going to help you close the ground. Execute is a really good PvE skill for doing lots of damage against enemies. Um, it has a rather long windup, making it hard to use in PvP. And additionally, the damage is only a little bit higher than maybe something like a heavy attack. I believe heavy attacks on the Great Axe do 170%. This one does 200% or 300% if the target is below 50% health, which is when you should be using it. But the last passive for this ability allows you to crit 100% of the time if you hit them below 30%. So it can be really effective in certain cases if you can get it upgraded. Most of the abilities in this tree have to do with increasing your damage against lower health targets or healing you in some capacity. So there's some really great passives here. And the capstone skill is probably the one you want to aim for out of the two if you're a PvP player. Bloodlust is really strong in PvP because it allows you to catch up to people more easily if you're tracking them down, if you're charging to get in range, and then you're, you know, looking directly at them. Now you're moving faster. You're going to be able to catch up to them, and it'll get you a lot of kills that otherwise would slip through your fingers. Moving over to the Mauler skill tree, this is really your AoE skill tree. Reaper is more of your single target. Mauler is more of the AoE. Here you have Whirlwind, Maelstrom, and Gravity Well. Whirlwind allows you to spin round and round hitting enemies around you with your weapon over and over, and it's really good in AoE situations. You generally don't see too many people use Whirlwind. I think that's because the damage on it is a little low, but you're probably going to use it mostly in PvE, where you're going to have enemies grouped up around your tank, and you really need to upgrade this ability pretty deep for it to be worthwhile. Maelstrom is both good in PvE and PvP. It has a very fast cast time when compared to Whirlwind, allowing you to deal damage very, very quickly. It has a very wide range, particularly when upgraded. So it can net you a lot of kills, either in PvE or PvP, very, very easily, and it's one I would highly recommend. Gravity Well is pretty much a PvP-only ability. It basically slows everything inside it. So if you're trying to catch up to somebody, or you're about to attack a group of enemies, and you don't want them to be able to get away, you throw in Gravity Well, you charge in there, you spin to win, um, and mow them down. It's also great, again, for people running away. If you can hit them with it, then they get stuck inside it, allowing you to catch up to them. But it doesn't do very much damage, so it's not that great. You know, it has a little bit of damage to it, but you're not really going to use it much in PvE. I tend to use it a little bit in PvE because I just don't want to be bothered to respect to something else, and it does a little bit of damage and helps you group enemies. But it's not really ideal for PvE. Talking about the light and heavy attacks for a second, light attacks deal 100%, heavy attacks are under 20%, charged heavy attacks are 160%. So that's a good bit of damage there. The bug of the second uh, stroke of your attack with the heavy attack has been removed so you can no longer double hit with that heavy attack so that is not in the game anymore great axes also deal exclusively slashing damage so you're going to want to keep an eye out for enemies that are weak to slashing damage and use this against them i will say that in the early goings of the game there doesn't seem to be too many enemies that are weak to slashing damage no one of them seems to resist slashing damage though so it's generally a good damage type if you don't know like what you're going to be fighting or if you're going to do a lot of different activities because maybe it's, nothing's weak to what you're doing, but also nothing's resistant, so you're going to have pretty good average damage. The Great Axe in general is really good at AoE, as you may have noticed. It has a lot of good AoE abilities. Its damage single target is also very high, and it's just a great all-around weapon, um, particularly if we're questing. If you're going to like pull a bunch of enemies, you can mow them down really quickly. Um, and one thing is that's interesting you may not know about the weapons in this game 
is that even like light attacks can hit multiple enemies, and that's true for a lot of weapons, where as long as the weapon is connecting through the enemy, it's going to hit them. And because a lot of the Great Axe have long horizontal slashes, they tend to hit multiple enemies with their slashes very easily, allowing you to even do AoE damage when you're just using light attacks. Because this is a melee weapon, I would recommend that you wear at least medium armor if you're going to use it in combat, if not heavy armor. There may be some exceptions in PvE where you wear light armor to get extra damage when you have a really good healer or something, but I think that's going to be fairly rare, particularly in PvP. You're going to get a beating when you use this weapon, because you're going to charge into a group of enemies in order to get your spin to wins off. And if you die before you can get them off, then you're not really going to get them. So, sacrificing some damage bonuses that you get from medium or light armor is probably good in order to get heavy armor. But if not, you definitely want at least medium armor. When I'm using the Great Axe, I personally like to pair it with the Warhammer. It's another weapon that scales completely off strength. It allows me to run in with charge, spin to win, gravity well, whatever. Um, and then pull out my hammer and use some more AoEs that can stun or stagger enemies, which is both good in PvP and PvE. Staggering enemies in PvE means that enemies cannot attack you or your teammates, which makes things easier on your healer. Also, Warhammer is a different damage type in Blunt, so this will give you two different damage types so that you can, you know, deal with resistances as necessary. If you don't want to use the hammer, another really good weapon that I can recommend is the Hatchet. This scales with Strength and Dexterity, but primary Strength, so it's going to benefit from any points you put in there. And it's a weapon that can be used in melee or as a ranged weapon, so it can be thrown as well. A lot of people like to use the Hatchet for the Berserk ability, which is a passive ability that increases your damage for a certain amount of time. And also Berserk gives you a movement speed buff, so people like to use it out in the landscape to move faster from getting from point A to point B quicker or to escape enemies or close the distance on enemies. So it's just a really good weapon there. And the Defy Death capstone of Berserker as well is excellent. It allows you to be immortal once uh, every 75 seconds for 3 seconds. This can often save you in fights, so it's a really good pairing as well. Stay tuned for more weapon guides for New World as we cover all 11 weapons, and be sure to check out the New World Wiki if you have questions about the game. What did you guys think of the weapon guide? Do you still have questions about the Great Axe? Let me know in the comments below.